Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel and we're bringing you the patch notes for September 26 which go live tomorrow and they're fixing a bunch of issues including Hitchhiker Strap, Johnny Speed Build and finally a stunning immunity to the family. So let's go through them. First thing, they fixed Hitchhiker Trap Exploit. Fix an exploit where Hitchhiker players could use his trap to pass through walls and doors. I didn't even know this was possible, so I'm glad they fixed this. So they've also fixed Hitchhiker's trap interaction issues and this has been going on for a long time since game launched actually. We've resolved an issue where victims will be unable to interact with gaps, corpse spaces and other elements after stepping into a trap. This was game breaking, as soon as you did that you couldn't interact with anything and then you were pretty much dead. So game breaking, glad it's fixed. Fix Johnny and Sissy lunch. Johnny and Sissy both had a lunch that was greater than other family members. We've adjusted this to be more in line with the rest of the family members. This should also correct the Johnny build we're seeing used in public matches. So say goodbye to Johnny Speed Tech, which people have been abusing horrendously. And I didn't even know that Sissy also had a problem with her lunch. So it's another little fix to Sissy. People are gonna call her unusable now because of the fix that she had a few weeks ago. I think this one change much for Sissy really because she plays support role anyway. It's all about poisoning everything, restricting access to a few areas with her poison clouds and so on. But let's see how this plays out. So they also fixed the brightness cheat fixed an issue that would allow PC users to adjust their in-game brightness outside of accepted levels by editing game files. I mean the extent that these people go to just in order to get an advantage is just crazy really. So they were obviously trying to illuminate shadows a little bit more so they could see victims hiding. Just crazy what these people would do. Glad this is fixed. I guess this means we are one step closer to crossplay being activated again. Something they changed, the hitchhiker traps a ladder exits. We have adjusted the area at the top of a ladder where the hitchhiker can place a trap. This still allows for a strategic play but will give victims an opportunity to counter the trap. So I think what was going on here, hitchhiker will put the trap right at the top of the ladder and as soon as the victim came up they couldn't disable the trap, they had to fall in it. So this fixes that. I think that's what it is but correct me if I'm wrong. Also there's a massive change to fuse box here. Now family can turn the fuse box off after a victim turns it on. This is a massive change because we know that once the fuse box is open, the basement exit is open and there's nothing you can do about it. What people were doing, they were going to the basement exit and blocking with a family member. Now, if the family is patrolling the fuse box, they can switch it off. This is a hard punch for the victims and we're gonna have to see how this plays out. This might not work and I won't be surprised if they reverse this at some point in the future, but let's see how it works out. There's gonna be a cooldown applied to the switch similar to generators and car batteries. So I'm assuming the family won't be able to instantly switch it off. Let's see. Now, big change to family stun immunity. Family now has a 10 second stun immunity period after an initial stun ends. So after you stand up and after the animation is finished, the family will be immune for 10 seconds. This is such a great change because what was going on was victims completely bullying family members and that's not what the devs intended, absolutely not. It was just ridiculous that this was there in the first place. So I'm glad that this is gone. There is no stun immunity after a family member is stunned by a victim bursting out of a hiding place, however. So bear that in mind. If you attempt to stun a family member who has immunity, you will not see the prompt for Leland's ability or a backstab. If you attempt to stun a family member who has immunity with a door slam, it will have no effect. Closing counters override in duration due to the individual family members having different stun recovery times. Therefore, the immunity period is different for each. So this is great as well because what often will happen is family lose the close encounter and then the same victim will be just standing behind him waiting for the animation to finish and then stun the family member. They won't be able to do that as well. It's great. Taekwondo perk levels reduced. I mean this is great because this could really take out the family member for such a long time. So now level 1 is 5 seconds stun duration, level 2 is 6 seconds stun duration, Level 3 is 8 seconds stun duration. Because what you had before was on level 3, slamming doors on family members, it would stun them for 16 seconds. <laughs> that was just so ridiculous. So now it's reduced by half the time. Agitator perk levels reduced. 
So we knew this was coming. It, this was one of the really, really good perks that the victims could have. So before on level three, grandpa level would reduce by four levels. Now it will reduce by 2.5 levels. That's quite a big nerf to agitator. And this will definitely put more pressure on victims because all victims had to do is just go there and re completely reset grandpa with one step. Now this will put them a lot more under pressure. I really want to see how this is going to play out and it's going to make them not use agitator as much obviously and then there's a stealth performance in mini games tuned we have adjusted the amount of noise generator and gathering in mini games when at full stealth i think on full stealth you wouldn't make any noise and now you actually make a little bit of noise maybe that's it i don't think that's going to make a huge difference if you still are at full stealth and then leland ability stun duration we have adjusted the stun duration upgrades for leland's lifesaver ability hmm another nerf to leland they don't say here if they've increased it of their low the stun duration we're gonna have to wait for tomorrow to see if the stun duration has increased that's great but if it has reduced that's another big nerf for Leland he is one of the most played characters anyway so I'm assuming that if they reduced it they're trying to balance it out a little bit and just increase Sonic's peak rate perhaps we're gonna have to wait and see tomorrow anyway guys this is it for today I hope you enjoyed all the news please let me know down in the comments what you think of all this subscribe like and join the channel for more content like this you know i'm gonna try and keep you updated as much as i can on all news on texas chainsaw massacre thank you so much for watching i will see you all next time